Hello guys, welcome back to the Tenorshare channel. You might have noticed that a lot of people are talking about Signal recently. There's a surge of user downloads in both Google Play Store and Apple App Store this week. Both Edward Snowden and Elon Musk have endorsed it. So, what is Signal? And why is everyone using it all of a sudden? In this video we'll take a deep dive into it and show you how it works on iPhone, iPad and Android. Let's get started. Signal is a free cross-platform messaging service, just like WhatsApp, which adopts an end-to-end -end encryption protocol to secure your privacy. The big difference between them is ownership. As you know, WhatsApp is owned by Facebook, while Signal belongs to the non-profit Signal Foundation. Let's start our journey of how to use it. For iOS users, it could be downloaded and installed from App Store. While in Android you can find it in Play Store. Let's start with the iOS version. The signing up process is very much like WhatsApp. You'll need a phone number for verification. Then go ahead and set up your profile. The little difference here is Signal would require you to create a PI and to better secure your data. Thus, even if someone else got your phone, they can't get access to your data without another PI in. Okay, so here is the home page. You can invite friends or search people by phone number. Then you can edit contacts if you want to. I'd like to show you guys how to actually chat with this. So I sign it up on my Android and another iPhone with my extra phone numbers. To start a chat, tap on the pencil icon on the upper right corner, choose a contacts, then we can send text messages like this. And tap the camera icon to take photos, To record videos, press and hold the shutter button. Trim it before sending if you want to. You can also add a reaction to a message by tapping and holding it. To create a group chat is also tap the pencil icon. Then go ahead and add people to it. By tapping the phone icon on the upper right corner, you can start a voice call. And tap the camera icon beside to give your friend a video call. To access chat settings, tap on the contact name. Then in this page you can main your media files, search chats, and set up disappearing messages. Toggle the disappearing messages on, then set a countdown. Let's set it to 10 seconds and test it out. See, the message has disappeared on both devices. Here I'd like to walk you through the on-screen privacy settings, which is something WhatsApp doesn't provide. Tap your profile name, then tap privacy. The first one is red receipts. With it enabled, the check mark under each message would turn from blank to filled to tell your friend that you have read the messages. Let's see what happens when we toggle it off. It'll stay blank on your friend's phone even after you read it. Moving on. The next one is typing indicator. When it's on, your friends would know that you are typing when they see the rippling dots here. Toggling it off, then nothing shows up in the other end. This moment make you realize how peaceful all communication could be. Moving on, with this generate link previews on, details come along with the link. With it off, just the links. Next one, with registration lock turned off, Anyone can access to your data if they got your phone. With it on, they'll need the PI and code to proceed. To boost it even more, let's see how the screen lock works. With it off, you can open the app and get straight to the chats. And with it on, passcode would be required each time. By enabling screen security, your chat preview will stop appearing in the app switcher. You can also customize how much information you want the notification to display. With content and name. Name only. Or just a blank notification like this. For some of you who might also own an iPad, Signal provides a link devices feature for you to transfer account and messages to it. So we install Signal in the App Store. Then go ahead and add it as a new device. 
when the QR code shows up, tap your profile name on your iPhone. Then head to Link Devices, tap Link New Device and scan the QR code. Choose a name for your iPad. Then here we go. All the chats and contacts have been literally duplicated to the iPad. Which is awesome since you can also chat with your friends the same as using an iPhone. That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helps your guys. Have a nice day. See you in the next video.